everybody, welcome back to the Nightmare Collective. I'm Chris, thanks for stopping by and watching another 4K review. All right, we're gonna be talking about Freaky today. There's the front, there's the back. I'm farther away from my camera, so I'm like stretching my arms, you know? There's the full back. I don't know why I'm so far away from my camera. I should move it closer, you know? I don't know what I'm doing, but anyway, We'll fix that in another video, but we're talking about Freaky today. This came out from Shout, and uh, it's a mess. The transfer, we'll talk about the movie in a minute. This is a first time watch for me. I'd never seen this movie, so that's why I got it. Overall, pretty disappointing. No Dolby Vision, no Atmos, same 5.1 track we got on the 4K, I mean on the Blu-ray, and the picture is weird. The HDR is not great, and I think, I mean, it's HDR 10, whatever, it's compatible with all that. I don't think it's very good. It's dark in some aspects when it shouldn't be. It's weirdly bright in some aspects. And overall, it was just a very flat image for me. I just don't think it's that great. I mean, there's not a ton of like DNR in here, so it's not that problem. It's not like the Paramount problem that we've been having lately with like planes and trains and all that. Um, planes and trains, planes, trains, and automobiles. That's where that DNR came in. But it's just not very good. You know, especially coming off of like watching war games and rollerball, those look great. And this just, I mean, it's just not great overall. I just wasn't a fan of the way it looked. It sounded okay, but again, nothing really like great going on. And I mean, again, this is not the movie, it's no Wrath of Man, um, which I'll link that video. I did that on my second physical media channel. So if you wanna check that out uh, recently, which that has a killer at most, I was just very disappointed. And I mean, Scream Factory doesn't typically let me down. I thought Ouija sounded really good. Just disappointing. I do not recommend you buy this if you already own this. I do not think it's worth the upgrade overall. Now, if you don't own it, uh, I do think it looks better than the Blu-ray. We will see how Dawn of the Dead turns out next week. Look forward to that review. Still working on this coffee, man. Five review, five videos in, still working on the coffee, trying to get through it. Let's talk about the movie for a minute. I won't make this overly long. Again, I don't think you pick it, should pick it up if you already own it. Uh, unless you love the movie, then I think it's still a better looking disc than the Blu-ray. All right, let's get into the movie itself. I thought the movie was fun. I mean, it's a fun little movie. I'm kind of disappointed I didn't see it. It reminds me, it's in the vein, which I mean, I guess that's the type of movie it is. It is a Blumhouse movie uh, as like a happy death day or something like that. Actually, I don't know if this is a, yeah, it's Blumhouse. I just read it. Um, but that's the kind of style of movie it is. So if you like Happy Death Day, I think you'll like Freaky. Not amazing, but not terrible. I enjoyed it. Blumhouse stuff is hit or miss for me especially. I mean, I know I'm not their target audience per se, but overall, I thought it was a fun time. This is a very disappointing disc. All right, let me know down below. Did you pick up Freaky? What other stuff are you picking up this week? I also recently covered Belly, which came out from Lionsgate on my second channel. So I'll link that up there if you wanna check out that review. And that's pretty much all I got. Thanks for stopping by guys and watching this review. You guys are awesome. And if you like this, or more 4K stuff, consider subscribing to the channel. And I do this and all movie reviews and all that kind of stuff. So definitely check all that stuff out. You can also subscribe to my second channel where I do all physical media. I cover all the other stuff I pick up other than horror. So I'll link a few things here. I'll link one of those videos so you can check that out if you wanna go over there and check out some of my other reviews. And then I'll also link my last horror haul. So that's all I've got. Thanks for stopping by and I'll talk to you guys later.